All right, it is definitive answer time. What is in this hole? If you remove the fitting, O-ring fitting, you'll find a little metal clip. That little metal clip keeps a little stainless screen in place. Once you get the screen out of the way, you'll find a hollow Allen head set screw. You can remove that with an Allen wrench. On the other side of that is this spring, which I really don't want to lose. Um, the Allen head set screw uh, holds the spring in. This is a, there's a collar inside of the, uh, inside of the hole. And you're not going to be able to see it here, I don't think, because it's too bright out. There's a little collar in there. It looks like a, um, it almost looks like a helicoil. It's threaded on the inside, and I'm assuming it's threaded on the outside. It was probably put in with something like a helicoil tool. Um, on the far end of it is a valve seat, and on the other side of that valve seat is a little ball bearing, a little stainless uh, ball. And on the other side of that is a little spring. So, if your cylinder locks up, you can remove this fitting. You can pry the clip out with a uh, with a scribe and a pair of hemostats. Uh, you can then pick up the screen a little bit and you can uh, rotate the screen in there and pull it out with a pair of hemostats. Once you do that, you can slide a uh, well, an Allen wrench, um, the tip of the scribe, whatever, goes through this, goes through the middle of this spring and you can reach all the way up to the ball and you can push the ball off the seat and release any pressure if, it, if something's locking it there. Um, you can also push on it, make sure it's, it's working freely. Um, you can get the straw off, a can of carb choke cleaner, and uh, you can actually shoot carb choke cleaner up in there and flush the thing out while you're pushing the valve so that whatever you blow in comes back out um, just to get the crap out of the valve. And then you can put all these components back in and hopefully your cylinder will be unlocked. Um, I actually flushed a lot of, a lot of little sediment crap and rust out of it um, while I was doing it. You can see it runs down the cylinder and it drips. Uh, those little black specks, um, those all came out or were washed out of this uh, out of this port while I was flushing it out. But anyway, that's how the, the safety checks go together. Um, I don't know if it's possible to get that valve seat and ball and the other innermost spring out of there. Um, like I said, it looks like it was, it might be something that was put in with a helicoil tool and screwed up in there. And uh, I don't see any way to get a bite on it to to unscrew it back out of the port. There's no there's no screw head on it. There's no, uh, um, no slots for like a, a standard screwdriver to unscrew the whole thing. Uh, I'm not sure quite exactly how it was, uh, how it was put in there, but I don't think it was ever intended to come back out. But you can access it. You can push on the ball and you can feel the spring on the back side. Um, you can actually feel it moving when it's free and clear. It should move freely when you're pushing on it with a probe. Um, and that's what you want. You want it to be able to move freely. And it looks like the ball is balanced between the, uh, the innermost spring back in the assembly here or and uh, this spring right here. And the ball kind of hangs in the balance between there. When it gets too much flow by it, it, uh, it sets up against the seat and locks up the cylinder. Um, the drawing shows that there's some way for there, there's some path for leakage around behind the valve. So it should ultimately unlock itself and the springs should recenter the ball and release the, uh, the lockup once you've taken all the pressures off of it uh, or even provided pressure the other direction. But um, um, sometimes that doesn't work. Like I say, the, it might get clogged up with fine crap um, that ultimately collects here over the years these have been in service. But anyway, that's how you can that's how you can free up checkball.